What's up guys, it's Mitch here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a lens that I've been wanting to try out for quite some time now. This is the Nifty 50 for the RF mount. So the Canon RF 50 millimeter 1.8. I was able to take this lens out on a photo shoot with my friend Swarali. So I'll be rolling some of the behind the scenes from that shoot throughout this video. And then I'll also be sharing my thoughts on the lens, what I like about it, and why you should consider picking up this RF 50 millimeter 1.8. Just a disclaimer, this is not going to be an in-depth technical review, but more just sharing how I feel about the lens, how it performs in a more practical sense. Uh, in the last Last few weeks owning this lens and shooting with it on a more frequent basis. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. So I'm going to be using the face tracking and the eye detection on the R6. So it'll be interesting to see how this new Nifty 50 performs with the autofocus. I need to stand like further back than usual. Because I'm not used to shooting this close. Awesome, dude. So just a bit of background, if you're new to the Canon system, this lens replaces the older EF mount version of the Nifty 50, which Canon have been making for quite some time now. And this lens has become somewhat of a legend as it offers really beautiful image quality, uh, fantastic bokeh separation from your background, all in a very small form factor. Plus, it has always been one of the cheapest lenses that you can buy brand new for a full frame DSLR camera. And it's usually the go-to recommendation for anyone who's looking to jump into full frame, but not looking to spend too much money in the process. Do you maybe want to go even underneath this like plant if you can fit? And then we could try and get like, yeah, some of this in the foreground. That's kind of cool. The RF 50mm 1.8 shares a very similar form factor to the EF version. It's one of those lenses you can chuck in your bag and take with you without even noticing that it's there half the time. Due to its pretty affordable price point, it's an easy lens to justify adding to your kit and the 50mm focal length is what you would call a standard lens as it's pretty close to the natural field of view of the human eye. The STM motor focuses super fast just like on the EF version but coupled with the improved dual pixel autofocus 2 focusing system in the R6 and R5, this lens is just on another level in terms of focus accuracy. So I had Swarali walk toward the camera and as expected, the lens was able to nail every single shot right on the eye. So I'm definitely not going to shy away from using this lens in situations where I need critical focus accuracy. Now the build quality is a little bit better than the EF version, I must say. It feels a little bit more solid and the focus ring is much smoother. The ring on the EF version felt a little bit clunky, but here on the new RF version, it's buttery smooth. It's just like an old geared manual focus lens. So right now it's pretty dark in this location. I'm set to f1.8, so it's wide open on the aperture and I'll probably stay there for most of the shoot. I'm um, just like sort of adjusting my ISO based on whether we're more in the shade or more in the light. And then my shutter is set to 1 1 60th of a second. Sharpness across the board is really great. It definitely performs just as well, if not better than the EF version. The RF version has an updated optical formula which has supposedly increased the sharpness and contrast of the lens, but I haven't noticed a night and day difference between the two. Even like go, oh yeah, you can try sitting down. That might be cool. Do you want to even like maybe yeah hold on to this railing? So just stay where you were, that's good. Yeah, just holding on and like maybe leaning in a little bit. Maybe hold on like around here. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, let's go right there. One, two, three, yep, go. That's good, then walk back towards me. Yeah, let's go.
Now, talking about chromatic aberrations, the performance is not the best I've ever seen. It's pretty similar performance to the older version, showing some pretty nasty purple and green fringing here on this shot, shot at a 1.8 aperture. Fairly easy to fix in post though, and it's only noticeable in some shots, like particularly in high contrast environments. The focus breathing on this lens, I must say, is pretty bad. When focusing, you do see a big change in the focal length of the lens, which is disappointing. The focusing of the lens is also pretty audible. So if you're using an on-camera shotgun mic, the noise of the lens focusing can interfere with your audio. So because of these two factors, I would have to say that the RF50 1.8 is probably not the best lens to go for if you're primarily shooting video on the RF mount. Unless, of course, if you're not doing a lot of focus pulls or changing the focus while you're shooting. You just go like in that sort of area there. doing like a pretty good job of picking the eye closest to the camera. It does switch eyes pretty often, but it's doing a good job. Oh, I like this. Yeah, this is nice. Love that, love it. Beautiful. Oh, these must be my favorite, I think. Beautiful photos. The water focus is doing really good, hey? One really interesting thing that I haven't heard a lot of other people talking about is that this new RF 50mm makes it really affordable to get into the full frame mirrorless world when you pair it up with the EOS RP. Even though it's a couple of years old now, the EOS RP is still a great camera and paired up with this lens, I think it's an absolute killer combo. Lean in with your back against here, but then sort of like maybe even lean back a little bit. Oh, that's nice eyes. One downside that a lot of people are talking about with the RF 50mm 1.8 is the price point because Canon did double the price of this lens from 100 to around 200 US dollars. But if you're just getting into the RF system, going for the EF mount 50mm 1.8, even though it's a cheaper price point, you would still have to get the EF to RF adapter, which would make it the same price anyway. I still think that Canon have slightly improved this lens in a few different ways, namely build quality, slightly increased sharpness and contrast contrast as well as better focus accuracy overall. So I'm going to stick my neck out and say that even at $200, this lens is still a no brainer. Oh, and one other thing that I forgot to mention is that the newer RF version also focuses five centimeters closer than the EF version. So that's another win for the new 50. So has Canon been able to recreate the magic of the nifty 50 for the RF mount? I think the answer is yes. Canon took what was already an amazing lens and made it slightly better without too many compromises. It is slightly more expensive than its predecessor, but it still falls way short of the price point of the other 1.8 primes in the system. And in my opinion, even at this price, it still makes a great deal for beginner and experienced photographers alike. So thanks guys for watching once again. As always, all of the gear used in this video will be linked down in the description below. So make sure you go and check that out. Give me a follow over on Instagram if you wanna keep up with me and all the behind the scenes stuff over there. And I will see you guys all in the next video.